Hello, thank you for tuning in to Little Steps and How Do I Do This Zero One. Uh, my name is Tim and today we're going to cover just a quick lesson on going into starting an account with Yahoo uh, Mail and opening your account and signing in and signing out. Now you'll notice here I am in fact signed in under my pseudonym. Um, you don't necessarily want to have your real name up here in your ID so just a thought. Your first name and last initial would be perfectly fine to, to use. Anyway, let's move on here. Um, if you haven't already signed up, um, then you're going to want to go ahead and sign up. And let's go ahead and just sign out and I'll sh walk you through it. Now you will notice here, um, let me zoom out just a little here. You will notice there is a symmetry to Yahoo. You always have your your Yahoo icon here and your web search buttons here. These are common on every Yahoo page, so you're pretty much going to see this every time. The reason I'm pointing this out is because you're going to see your name and or your sign-in, login name, sign out, and or sign up right in this area right below the web search button. So be aware of that. Now let's go ahead and sign out and I'm basically walking you through this just to show you some of the features and some of the things you need to know when you sign up or sign in. Now again going down below your web search button here in the main window um, also make note that you're at yahoo.com um, once you're signed into your mail or once you're checking your mail make a very important note here look at your address bar and make sure that you're not being redirected to a different website they can in fact copy this and you want to make sure that you're in fact going to your actual server in the world that you're using um, the reason I say that is some Yahoo features are available in the, in the United States and some are not available in Spain or in Manila or places like that they do have different servers so just make a note of that okay so let's go ahead and sign up when you sign up you're going to get to this page right here I do encourage you to in fill out every single line um, fill it out clearly and concisely uh, your first and last name your gender male uh, male or female your birthday your country your postal code this is for partly for security reasons so they can identify who you are in the world just in case there's somebody else logged in with your name and believe me there's probably a lot of John Smiths out there so the reason they're asking this information is just to keep you sorted safe and secure then you'll go here and you'll put in your email you get to pick which email you want you can type in anything you want from four characters up to I don't know like 30 or something 32 uh, let's see here okay it doesn't state an actual limit so I would say up to about 32 characters for your email address but that's a little bit long for most people once you put in a name here then you go over here and you check on it now if it's not available it will pop up a logo here saying the the ID or password or I, uh, your email that you're suggesting or requesting is in fact taken and it will suggest a number after the end of it or you can also flip down here and switch it over to Ymail or Rocket Mail. Any one of these three will work and you can check them on any one of these. Just make note that your email address will be reflected on either yahoo.com, ymail.com, or rocketmail. So just make a note of that. It is absolutely vital that you write this information down and that you keep it safe. Then you'll go down here and you'll put in your password. Notice you can use capitalization or not capital capitalized letters you have to have at least six characters up to 32 characters try to use letters and numbers together it's more secure also try to use more characters for your password the, the more characters you use the harder it's going to be for somebody to hack or break into your account um, also you'll notice over here it says password strength on the right hand side of the password bar that is also going to give you a rating according to what you're doing vitally important that you take note of this if your password isn't secure pick another one add some numbers in um, shuffle them around a little bit 
just make sure you write these two pieces of information, your email account and your password. If you lose it, okay, if you lose that information, we'll move on down here to this section. In case you forget your password or your ID, you will want to put in, if you have it, an alternate password. If you don't have an alternate email, that's okay. You still want to go ahead and fill in the questions. Because if you have to go back up here and you don't know the answer for your user username and password, if you can remember your, your email address, you can request and they will ask you one of these two questions and if you don't know the answer to these two questions you're going to be locked out of your account finally you'll come to this code shown here this is simply security for Yahoo to keep people from um, automating accounts and, and starting up fictitious accounts so this is something you will also have to fill out you cannot move past this point unless you fill out this particular area with these letters after you filled out all the other blanks okay so let's go ahead and go back here and sign in and I can go ahead here and sign in now I'm already signed in on my other one so let's step over to that one briefly here now this is my other account and I'm switching over to this one because I have two accounts one for testing and one for actually um, doing my mail and stuff and keeping things separate from personal my personal life and my professional work so just so you know you can have more than one account if you have more than one account please make note that you need to keep track of both accounts both uh, passwords and both of your email addresses if you forget them you're going to just be high and dry so anyway let's move on I do want to make note here um, again notice the Yahoo Mail this is set up for Yahoo Mail Classic you can use the new Yahoo Mail which is just a different format it sets it up differently it looks a little bit different it's still the same basic uh, format and function it's here to give you your mail and and to offer you these other options like mail contacts calendar and your notepad I would encourage you to learn and use these other items here because these other items can be very advantageous for you if you don't own your own computer you can take notes keep notes and come back online and have access to all your information and your personal notes that you're trying to um, if you happen to be taking an online class or or need to make a note and need to get access to it you can do it from any computer anywhere in the world if you can get to your mail so it's a very good handy tool to use also make note that not all of the the servers in the world this is in the US not all servers in the world will offer you the calendar and the notepad in which case you can create if you go here you can uh, let me step back here you can create a new mail and you can go in here address it to yourself you have your email accounts you can address it to yourself you can take notes here and then you can send the email to yourself it sends it out into a little loop-de-loo out on the internet comes right back into your inbox at which time you can create a folder let's, let's go back here real quick you can create a folder you'll notice you have pre-made folders here I do encourage you to use these and know what they are but I also encourage you to go down here to my folders you can add um, I've got a pretty long list of folders here and you can add quite a few uh, different friends online or, or groups organizations or what have you um, I do encourage you to use these because you can sort your mail and you can also go up here to the top on the right hand side from your tabs here it says options you can add filters to keep certain mail that you don't like or you find offensive you can filter it before it ever gets to you anyway thanks for watching um, please tune in if uh, you have questions I'll continue on with this series uh, have a great day and continue watching and rating my videos bye